purification, huh? And that's gonna take care of you. <laughs> You're all gonna pay for what you've done. Nothing you'll remember. Me? No! Don't read. Prison? What am I doing here? I have to get out of here. I won't stay here that long. Oh, shit! Ugh, it's gross. But it'll have to do for now. that what the hell what is this place
the library. I've been here before. Okay, so either they're all dead or they forgot about the welcoming committee. It's me. I don't get it. Is this a memory? Where did they disappear to? Ugh. What am I doing here? Glad I changed shoes. Anybody here? Hazel and her damn plans. Hazel. She wanted me to talk to the warlocks. Osborne is here. I have to find him. What's that doing here? You shouldn't have come here. What the hell? <laughs> warlocks attacked me. They're the ones who locked me up here. But why? I really gotta get out of here. Osborne's gonna have some explaining to do. Come on, M.M. You can do it, girl. Strangely normal, almost cozy. Let's see what that did.
That could be useful. Quite the program. My oh my. That's quite a crowd. entry is from 2016. I wonder how many vessels have been caught since then. That's impressive. This tower is incredible. It's like it's from another time. I've never seen anything like it. Three circles, just like the platform. I should be able to do something with that. Something moved. Again.
worked. Come on, there's more. I hope that's the last one. Let the prince speak. M.M. My dear M.M. I thought I had made myself clear. Me too. I told you there would be consequences. Destroying one of my closest advisors. What did you expect? Do what you gotta do. I see. M.M. Lewis, you are charged with the murder of Sir Pro Bono, Prince of Gloucester and Knight of my house. How do you plead? Guilty. How could you dare attack one of my knights? He had it coming. If that's your defense. Hilda! Come here. My prince. Hilda McAndrews. Were you aware that your child was conspiring to assassinate one of my generals? I... no. I was unaware of that. But I'm sure that she regrets her actions. What? No! This entire incident has shaken her to the core. She wasn't herself. I know nothing can make up for what she did, but I assure you it won't happen again. You have my word. Your word. How nice. I'm sorry, but I cannot allow such a brazen act of rebellion to go unpunished. But I have heard your plea. M.M.'s unlife will be spared. You're too kind. But you will pay for her error. Excuse me? Gentlemen, seize her. What? And Bran. No! Hilda what McAndrews. What the hell are you doing? Let her go! For the insubordination I of your I'm the child. One who destroyed him. I hereby sentence you to forever bear the mark of her crime. You can't! It was me! A 
remember my rage and my horror when they grabbed Hilda. Why would I have done that? Try and remember, damn it. Did. How could I have forgotten that? Is that the exit? I did it! Ah! Ugh. Ugh. My head. What the? Shit! Clyde, get Deneb. She got out! What? How on earth could no she- No time for that! Go get him! Out. I'm out? Oh, who cares about Deneb? Do you think Iverson gave a shit when she offed all our guys? Huh? Wait, Iverson, are you talking about the party? It... it wasn't us. And now she's awake. Great. What do you mean it wasn't you? Don't fall for her act. She came here to destroy us. Don't forget it. What are they talking about? I'm not here to... We thought you were behind the attack. We... Just can it. You can stop the little dance routine already. It's not gonna work on us. So spit it out. Why did your bitch of a prince betray us? She didn't. This is so backwards. You're gonna pay for her treachery. You get that? None of you are going to get away with this. That's enough. But Deneb. I said Miss Lewis, I presume. Osborne. At last. Well, you certainly are resourceful. Few people are able to escape from memory traps without assistance. Though I doubt you were able to escape with your memory unscathed. What are you trying to tell me? I do hope for your sake that you have recovered all of your memories. Otherwise, they're gone. The process is more or less irreversible. You've got to be joking. I'm afraid not. Let's put the matter behind us. Now that you're here and conscious, we'll be able to talk. Why did you lock me up? You represented a threat. A threat? I just wanted to talk to you. And why, pray tell? To explain the reasons for your prince's betrayal? The prince is on edge. She thought you might have been behind the attack. But seeing your reaction, I'm guessing you're not. Hmm. You're putting me in a somewhat awkward position. I would like to take you at your word. But that would mean putting what's left of my men in danger. If you're telling the truth, you're going to have to prove it.
And just how am I supposed to go about proving something we didn't do? Ah, a rhetorical question. You're on thin ice. You know that, right? But you've made your point. I'll grant you that. Please continue. You have to believe me. We're not responsible for the attack at the party. The prince will be relieved to know that you're all safe and sound. If only that much were true. Many of our brethren were in attendance at that accursed reception. You need a reason for my presence. The prince is worried about you. That's why I've been sent, to make sure you're safe. Very well, my dear. I would like to believe that you are not here to finish the job, as they say. However, the idea that your prince sent you to help us? Iverson may be many things, but she is most certainly not sentimental. You're right. That isn't the only reason I was sent. Just why are you here, then? For our alliance. I know these times are tough. But the Prince wants to make sure our agreement still stands. What agreement? What do you mean, what agreement? The union you were supposed to celebrate at the party. Be more specific. What were the particulars? I'm not sure I understand. You know exactly what it was about. Why are you asking me? I want to know if I can trust you. Or if you're trying to pull one over on me with your eloquence. So please continue. With all due respect, Mr. Osborne, I'm a little too old for pop quizzes. We both know the broad terms of the Alliance. I wouldn't be here if that wasn't the case. Can we just get down to business? What attitude? Hmm, fine. You're right, we've wasted enough time already. Let the negotiations begin. What negotiations? Look around you. This room used to be teeming with devoted kindred. We lost three quarters of our people. Hartford has taken serious risks. In all regards, risks that are not on par with your prince's commitments. We demand compensation. I see. You seem to know the terms of the Alliance like the back of your hand. You're more than qualified to participate in these negotiations. With all due respect, I don't think... Enough small talk. What is your prince willing to give us to salvage this Alliance and right the wrongs that she's caused us? What if the prince gave you a slice of her city? That would depend on the neighborhood. Hey ma'am, girl, where are you going with this? Whichever one you want. Downtown? Within reason. Hmm, all right. How about Charlestown? Why not? Very well. We have a deal. I'll contact our headquarters in Hartford to iron out the details. Fantastic. Hazel's gonna kill me. Well then, it looks like we have ourselves an agreement. Hartford will remain under Boston's umbrella for now. 
Iverson will still have to answer for the party. What happened was unacceptable. I will not turn a blind eye. I understand. That being said, I applaud your demeanor. The situation wasn't exactly to your advantage. Thank you, sir. Very well. I'll contact your prince in the next few days. I think we're done here, unless there's anything else you wanted to talk to me about. I would like to ask you a few questions. If you have a minute, of course. Of course. You have any rivals in the blood business? Yes, there are a few. Malkavian Spawn in particular. They had the market cornered for a good amount of time, especially in Gwyndon King's day. Even though I don't approve of their methods, I must admit that they excel in their art. There are few capable of producing blood so pure. Seems like your business has been turning for quite some time. Am I right? Indeed, you're not mistaken. Warlocks have always had a special talent for getting the most out of blood. Call it our trademark. There's always been trafficking, but what your prince is proposing goes much further. Combining Dr. Dunham's expertise with the skills of the Tremere clan. The result would be... Enormous. Precisely. I bumped into a few people during my... detention. Humans. Yes. Who are they? What are they doing here? They're the Forgotten. The invisible. People who live on the streets. Junkies. Squatters. They wander in here by choice or ill fortune. Well, we do need blood, like everyone else. You mentioned my memory fragments earlier. Yes. I don't get it. Why do you target memories? You could have just built a bunch of high security cells. Believe me, all cells can be breached, even the strongest ones. But if you rob prisoners of their memories, they lose their very desire to escape. In theory. In theory. Am I the only victim to suffer the effects of your magic? No, far from it. Anyone who enters the prison is affected. Including you? Of course, but we have rituals to counteract its effects. You led me to believe that the loss of them was... permanent? Not necessarily. Memory impairment is a side effect of the dimension. How permanent the condition is varies from one person to the next. That's the kind of thing I wish I'd known going into this. I can only imagine. But as I told you, you may not have anything to worry about. 
With any luck, it should all come back to you in time. At least, if it comforts you, I truly hope so. No, I'm good. Uh, very well. You'd best be running along back to your prince. I'm sure she's eager to hear your report. That she certainly is. Very well, Miss Lewis. Mr. Moses, uh, would you please escort M.M. out? It would be a shame if she were to get lost again. As for the rest of you, it seems we need to start packing our things. Next stop, Charlestown.